dear students in this video lecture you will be learning derivation of trip law for reactance relay using universal torque equation of electromechanical type relay consider the universal torque equation T equal to K1 IR square plus K2 VR square plus K3 VR into IR into cos of theta minus tau plus K4 If we set K2 equal to 0 make K1 positive that is cause the current to provide tripping torque and make K3 negative that is cause the directional torque to
2. Oppose tripping or to produce restraining torque. Noting that torque due to spring is neglected when the relay is on the verge of operation we get the following trip law if k1 into ir magnitude square is greater than K3 into VR magnitude into IR magnitude into cos of theta minus tau then trip else restrain which can be written as K3 into VR magnitude into IR magnitude into cos of theta minus tau less than K1 into IR magnitude square. Further simplifying, we get VR by IR into cos of theta minus tau less than the ratio of K1 to K3.
however we know that ratio of voltage to current is impedance so vr by ir that is ratio of voltage at relay point to current at relay point is impedance seen by the relay the apparent impedance seen by the relay therefore Z seen cos of theta minus tau less than K1 by K3. If we set the maximum torque angle of the directional element to be 90 degree and let K1 by K3 equal to xn we get Judson magnitude into cos of theta minus 90 degree less than xn but cos of theta minus 90 degree is sin theta so this becomes z seen at an angle of sin theta less than xn from impedance triangle z seen into sin theta is reactance so we will call it as x seen that is the reactance seen by the relay so this is the trip law for reactance relay
therefore trip law for reactance relay is if x seen is less than xn xn which is a ratio of k1 to k3 can be called as set value of reactants for the reactants relay so if x seen becomes less than xn then relay should trip else restrain so this uh, reactance relay is only sensitive to reactive part of the impedance scene and trips if the reactance part is less than a particular set value xn hence such a relay is called a reactance relay characteristic of reactance relay The straight line is line fault characteristic. The relay characteristic will be a straight line parallel to the resistance axis intercepting reactance axis at xn below this horizontal line is trip region the region above the reactance relay characteristic is restrain region So during a fault, if reactance of the line comes down to the value xn, then relay will be on the verge of operation. So this line gives us verge of operation. If the reactance comes down further, then relay will issue a trip signal to circuit breaker. The most important thing that we have to note here is the reactance relay is independent of resistance of the line. 